how it wouldn't work for you unless you just really unless you're the bad energy and sometimes that really do be the case um sometimes you really be the bad energy <laughs> girl you need to clean yourself it's just it's not it's not nothing funny it's not me it's not nobody coming for you but sometimes you are the energy that needs to be cleansed it's not just not the you are the energy that's making a house you know just want to throw that out there bitch it's, it's not always everybody else's fault girl you know sometimes you are the the energy that needs to be cleansed um you know and that's just because other people energy can can rub off on you um or it's just like you let pe you let certain people in your house and your house is supposed to be your peace and serenity like you have to watch who um you walk them into your space like your space of what am I trying to say here? Your space, your house is supposed to be your peace, your throne, you know, your sanctuary. So you have to watch the energies and the peoples that you have in your house because sometimes people come with bad energy or sometimes people just have bad energy attached to them and then they can attach to you. It doesn't necessarily have to be intentional or they came in your house to, to, to leave bad energy there, but um, bad energies and spirits and stuff live on other people. Um, especially if you ever had a person like or a friend that's just always down always just got some every time you talk to them it's always something negative going on with them they always in some type of jam just got out of a fight just got fired or something just all it's just never it's never a peaceful conversation um people like that you have to steer clear from and i had to learn that the hard way but i'm telling you like people like that is just like bad magnets uh black cats um hello kita shit um sorry you guys um people like that is just like a magnet for um bad energy and just like bad things to happen and sometimes like you can't always try to fix their problems or even listening to their problems it's just like just draining like i'm gonna tell you what hi nancy lee i love you baby hi lily um sometimes like bitch you ain't never have just that one friend and i don't care how long it's been since the last time you've actually spoken with them but when you've spoken with them they always got tea they always got drama they always know everybody business is always negative shit they just got fired they was fighting just it's always some type of something with that person like they can never just call you and have any kind of good news and if you talk to that person and you got good news like girl guess what i got a raise i got a promotion or i'm moving i just got a new job i just got a new house it always deflects back to them they be like oh that's so good sis well let me tell you about so and so and so and so it's like it's never time spent on you and your happiness you have to really really pay attention to those type of friends and then eventually wing your way away from them and um they're not really good for you because if you can sit on the phone and listen to their bad problems and everything they go through every time they're going through something and it's very very often and you sit there and try to offer solutions and stuff and then when you tell them good news or and shit like that and they just speed past it like it you know it, it is not much time spent on you and they don't really genuinely seem happy for you those are friends that you just should you rather do do without um I, I mean, I don't know. I can't really tell y'all how to, you know, maneuver with y'all friends. But I just know that that's not really a good friend in my eyes. It shouldn't be a good friend in yours either. But with that being said, um, make sure you like the people that you let in your space and your personal space, like your home, your house. Um, even if like sometimes you have company, keep them in the downstairs level, a common area. You understand what I'm saying? You guys, can y'all please, please gift the host. Can y'all please get me off of number two? It'll be very, very much appreciated. I need y'all to really understand what I'm saying, because this is the reason why y'all be having bad days. This is the reason why y'all be, it's just bad energy on y'all now. Y'all don't even know where it came from. You be like, damn, I ain't did nobody dirty. I ain't did nobody wrong. Why am I having such a hard time? Why am I having such the worst luck right now? It's because of things like that. Like when, if you have company, keep certain pe keep, pe keep keep them people's downstairs in the entertaining part portion and common areas. Like don't have people's in your in your bedroom sitting on your bed, up in your closet and shit like that. Keep them in a common space. You know, seriously. Like this this is really really important. I just hope that y'all paying attention. You guys, it is like three hundred and sixty eight people that's on this live currently. Can y'all please give the host y'all and get me off of this number? I know y'all might be sitting here saying like, girl, you know, but I promise you, if y'all just listen to what I be saying, I guarantee you, you'll make out much better in life. I'm here to tell you. Um, hi, boss man. Um, hi, Fallon. Um, I think I say hi. Good, um, good morning. How are you? Hi, Trelly. Um, hi, Ryan Reed. Um, um, my address is, can y'all please give the host, you guys, and please get me off of this number. I have to get off of number two. Um, but for the person that really was asking about the um, energy and stuff like that, I can definitely recommend some crystals for you. Um, thank you, KK. Um, um, 
I can definitely re recommend some crystals for you and some other little things that you can do like just to lift your energy and stuff like that. And by all means, make sure you get yourself a white candle and you say a, say a prayer over it. Um, say some scripture over it. Walk through your house while the candle is like when you light this when you light your can white candle. This is how you bless your home. White candles is typically for blessing your home. Um, you know, light the candles, uh, get your Bible, or just if you remember a scripture from the Bible, or if you just want to free, um, you know, f what is it? What is it called? If you just want to freelance it, a free, 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 however, free speech it, you know, just start praying. Just pray while you walk through your house. Make sure you walk through each part of your house. Make sure you open all, all the cabinets and all the doors. So like whatever energy that's in there, it can just go out. Like, and I guarantee you, I, I swear, I promise you by that night, you'll just feel totally different. Make sure you always cleanse yourself before you do your candles and stuff like that. So it's not, it's no bad spirits on you while you're trying to clean bad spirits. So with that being said, I just hope everybody is having a good Sunday. And to the person that definitely told me that their energy has been all i hope that the advice that i just gave you i hope that it really really can help because i'm telling you sometimes you can you, sometimes you got church folk and they be like oh we don't need candles we don't need crystals jesus will do this jesus will fix it prayer is all you need yes i read my bible and i go to church and and i'm a firm believer of jesus but sometimes you just need you know crystals and stuff like that it's not the devil um, lighting a candle is not the devil, especially if you light your candles and you saying a prayer over the candle. It's not. It's, that's not the devil. Sage is not the devil. Like so, I don't. I don't. I, you know, some people. Some people be so caught up on the church and all of that stuff. Like, and that's okay because I I go to church. Like, so I understand. You know, you you certain people be. You know. You need a little extra razzle dazzle, basically. <laughs> That's what it is. It ain't like, you know, leave it up to the church folk. Oh, Jesus will fix it. You don't need nothing else but the Lord. That's true. But um, I don't, I don't, I don't particularly look at it like that. I just think that crystals is crystals come from the earth. Like crystals really literally come from the earth. Bitch, they ain't making crystals, bitch. It ain't crystal meth. Bitch, it, you it's really like glass and, and, and crystals and, and minerals and stuff that comes from the earth. And it's really good and it, and it's good for your um your atmosphere is good for your energy and stuff like that. So I don't understand like how some people, good morning, baby. I don't understand how some people can really like say stuff like that, but you know, that to each his own. Like, listen, I wasn't a fan of it. I, I started out just with the candles and the candles really used to do me really, really well, you guys. And then I'm telling you once I, once my girlfriend put me onto the crystals, it really like changed me. It just really changed everything. Like, them, the day she told me what crystals to go to the store and get and I went in the store and, and I talked to the lady the lady the lady came from behind the counter and she was like what's wrong what's troubling you I can see something that's heavy on you and I told her exactly like I always I always keep it real anytime I go in the store okay you guys it's 420 um 21 people that's on this live um nobody is gifted so you um I really I'm really in a good spirit right now like so I don't really want to have to clip anybody but please gift the host you guys because I'm telling you like I'm I it's not i'm not sitting up here with this many people on here and nobody is gifting so you know what's gonna have to come next um i see you you saying hello but you didn't even send a gift and you want to come up here like that that's that, i don't what's going on with that um but yeah um all of my um all of my fan base can y'all please please gift the host um Typically, when you go inside of the candle store and the person, you always want to go to some. You always want to go to the. Thank you so much, um, Meta, Metamore. You always want to go to somebody that's real attentive to you. Like you, you don't want to just go in there buying shit that you don't know what you're buying. That's just number one. Always keep it a stack and tell the truth about exactly what's going on with you when you go inside the store to get what you need. Because bitch, if you don't go in there telling the truth, bitch, they're gonna end up giving you something that you don't need, that you didn't ask for, or that they assuming that you might need. So if you go in there and you tell them exactly what's going on with you and this is and this is typically this is typically how it go now some people's might be deeper than mine but if i go in there and i know i've had a bad week and nothing seemed to be going right it's just bad news after bad news i'll go in there and i'll tell them that if i tell them that it'd be other times i go in there and tell them listen i'm just really not happy i just don't have the energy to get out of bed to do much i don't want to do much and i really don't care to talk to none of my friends like when they call out push the button on the side like i'm just don't really i'm not in the mood for much they have you know if you talk to them like tell them exactly what's going on with you they'll give you things give you stuff that give you motive get you motivated get you give you energy make you outgoing like make you you know it's just certain just i don't know for me i just know when i go in there i don't just go in there winging it i go in there and i'll be very honest with my lady i'll be telling her like listen to this week i just been real down i don't know what it is but i just been really depressed i just don't really feel like doing much i don't want to talk to nobody i just always keep it a stat because bitch i want you to give me exactly what the fuck i need when i come in here 
And that's just that on that. Um, it's been times. It's been times where. Yeah. Okay. So if my admins in here, because I'm gonna need you to remove like at least a hundred people from the top from off of this live if they're not gifting me if they're not following me if they're on zero sins you can just please go ahead and remove them my admins that's what that's what y'all in place for i've been trying to be I, you know i'll be nice at first i'll ask a few times i'm not begging nobody to gift me just go ahead and start removing the peoples they, they yeah they should know by now um I just know that like it, it the can the um candles and stuff has really really did work wonders for me. Like I remember it's been quite a few times, like I've had like court cases like where I know I should have had went like it sh it should have been bad bad bad. I should have been going away for a long long time. What? Um yeah you're going. Let me see. I'll start removing them myself. Goodbye. Cause I don't I'm I'm having too much of a good day to be sitting up here. I'm not going back and forth for nobody today. Now, see where I left off at. Um, oh yeah, like um, like sometimes, like the um, well, not sometimes, all, both times that I've really had. To, okay, you guys, I have to get off of number two. I don't know what's going on. Hi, my little boy. I love you, baby. Hi, Russ. Um, hi, energy. Um, you guys, can y'all please get me off of number two? I know for me personally, it's been two separate times. Like when I use the court case ritual um candle thing, the bath water little candle little situation. Like it has been times like I was facing like years and years and years, and I did that little a uh, court case ritual. I'll show you what it looked like, and and bitch, they just end up throwing my case out, um both times. So I don't know. It typically it generally works for me. I don't I, every everybody that I send there, it works for them. So I I I you know. You must got some real bad fucking juju karma or bad stuff with you if, if it don't work for you. Um, that's the only thing I can tell you. Um, hi, Big Reese. Hi, Ty. Um, hi, Queenie. Hi, HR. I would say HR Rust. Hi, HR Rust. Um, you guys, my screen is not flashing. It's almost 500 people in here. Can you guys please get me off of number two? I'm not lagging. I have all of my boards, so I know y'all can hear what I'm saying. Can y'all please gift the host? Hi, Kay. Thank you, Nana. All right, y'all. So listen, I'll just come back later on. Y'all know I'm not definitely not gonna sit on live and just sit here while nobody's gifting with this many people.